In this month's accounting news, we include three sections. In the first section, we provide a regulatory update. In the second section, we focus on not-for-profit entities. And in the third section, we look at the triple threat accounting standards, AASB 9, 15 and 16. In the regulatory update, we include two articles. In the first one, we provide an update on the doubling on the size thresholds to determine whether, whether a private company is large or small. In the second article, we discuss the proposals to potentially require entities lodging financial statements with ASIC and the ICNC to disclose compliance with the recognition and measurement requirements of Australian accounting standards. In our not-for-profit section, we continue our series of articles to determine whether AASB 15 or AASB 1058 is applicable to a transaction. In this month's article, we look at grants to not-for-profits to transfer a license to a customer. In our section on the triple threat accounting standards, we start off by looking at the impact of AASB 15 on the manufacturing industry. We also look at the accounting treatment of payments to customers and non-cash consideration when we recognise revenue. We look at the effects of AASB 9, 15 and 16 on business combinations after the effective dates of these three new standards. And finally, we look at the accounting treatment of sale and leaseback transactions. We hope you enjoy reading, watching and thinking about these latest developments in the accounting world.